just a quick video to show you how to find the inverse without showing any work at all. So find the inverse. So in order to do this without showing work, you have to understand what an inverse function is. A function and its inverse basically undo each other. So for example, if we have f of x equals x plus 3, so let's think about what f does. f takes x and adds 3 to it. So the inverse function undoes that. So it must take x and subtract 3. Boom, we're done. Let's do another example. f of x equals x minus 8. So f takes takes x and subtracts 8. So the inverse function undoes that. So instead of subtracting 8, it will add 8. So there it is, x plus 8. Let's do another example. f of x equals 2x plus 3. All right, here it gets a little bit harder. In fact, I'll switch colors just to denote the level of difficulty. So it takes x, multiplies it by 2, and then adds 3. Let's think about that again. So it's taking x, multiplying it by 2, and then adding 3. So first, we have to do the addition. So instead of adding 3, we'll subtract 3. And instead of multiplying by 2, we'll divide by 2. Now, if you can't think of all of that in your head, write it down. What does f do? It multiplies x by 2 and then adds 3. So to undo that, you have to go in reverse order. So instead of adding 3, you subtract 3 and then divide by 2. And that's exactly what we did. We first subtracted 3 and then divided by 2. Let's try another one. f of x equals 4x minus 9. So let's find the inverse. Here, f takes x, multiplies it by 4, and then subtracts 9. So to undo that, we have to add 9 and then divide by 4. That's the answer. One more, f of x equals the cube root of x plus 2. So in this case, f takes x, adds 2, and then takes the cube root. So to undo the cube root, we first have to cube x, and then instead of adding 2, we subtract 2. And there it is. So now you know how to find the inverse without showing any work. I hope this helps.